there's an orchestrated and concentrated effort underway to stop the development of Canadian natural resources. The oil sands, which has been made a real poster child by environmentalists and by you know, celebrities, um, uh, it's not the dirtiest oil in the world. It's not the dirtiest oil in North America. There's so much debate over whether we should do oil and gas or renewables. We're never going to achieve a low carbon economy by constantly adding energy. We have to use it more efficiently. We have one consumer of our oil and gas. That's the United States of America. We are at the mercy of our one customer. So if you had only one customer, that person could pretty much decide what they want to pay for things. At the end of the day, this isn't just about the workers in Calgary. The natural resource sector provides wealth and prosperity, government revenue, stability to the entire country. But we are part of a federation, and so um, if we are going to be a federation, and that federation is Canada, we have to have rules about how products move freely across uh, provincial boundaries. And we shouldn't have a pipeline system where we can't flow oil and gas across the country without somebody holding us up for ransom. I mean, the main reason, I think, is just lack of market access. If we don't stand up for ourselves as Canadians, no one else is coming to save us. The role of a Prime Minister is to unite our country. All jobs are important. You should stand for justice.